Right. Thank you, Yansung. Not sure where they are finding their or how they are finding their way here now, but. So we'll be getting the mechanized uh, division in 10 days. Then of course the tank regiment are going to take a while before they arrive. Okay, so they lost... They lost quite a few hundred troops there while trying to counter-attack. Do we have the troops available? We've got three divisions here. We can check how badly they are hurt. These two kind of need to rest still. But let's have a look at the... Yeah, they are... Oh. They don't actually have any reasonable size divisions anymore. Not in very good strength anyway. Waiting for the auto save here. Hold on, so the oh right, they got the headquarters over there. I think we might have a crash here. Give it a bit more, but it might be a crash. Yeah, no, it's definitely a crash. Well, not much I can do about that other than end task and restart the game. I mean, it's going okay. I'm still kind of having some trouble there because it's mountains, and in this mud, mountains are bane of existence. Right, so we were still having the attack on the capital going, but I think I wanted to retreat a unit. Because of your computer you can run black eyes but still be careful with crashes, so no auto saves manually save like each two to five months depending on speed. I wasn't surprised by the speed of the Civ game. Yeah, it's been going quite nicely. Right, so we retreated from there. Uh, yeah, I just do the weekly saves, so usually the saves go okay. If they don't... Oh, crap. Well, the Japanese are now trying to get across the river here. Oh, well, that's too bad for them, I think. Hold on, which... They're attacking here. Are they attacking from both? Yes, they are. Okay. We'll go give them some surprise mechanics. While well, we bend off the Tibetan counter attack here. I mean, we got six divisions that have dug in quite, quite well, so I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue.
taking a fair bit of uh, damage there. I mean, they are a lot of them are naval infantry. They are pretty strong, but um, with Chinese, we can send in another four divisions without problems. I don't know, they will probably push out some of our divisions. I do expect them to take quite a bit of damage there. Also, we should probably put you over there instead. How is the battle over here going? It's still the militia and the headquarters. Not too bad. We do have some troops here that we could send in again, trying to save up some manpower because the ground units won't be doing much. Now we need a lot more reinforcements, but that is to be expected. Right, so they pushed away one of our divisions. At the same time, I suppose we could send in even more divisions here. Send these troops to the city behind, just so that they are ready to go in if need be. But some of their divisions are already rather low on organization. Autarchy, not this time. Oh right, it was he had only infantry, so no wonder that it broke so quickly. Oh they're pulling back the militia. Oh they're trying to counterattack from there. <laughs> oh bastard. Did we no we didn't quite break it, but Okay, so we lost 164,000 men taking that mountain province. But at the same time, well, they lost a little bit. They lost actually more than what was reported there, but... Now, how long until our troops get there? It might take a few moments. And then some of the mountain divisions would be a bit quicker in mountains. But estimated arrival sometime during this month. You cancel your task. Your task as well, because there's no enemies to bombard here, and there's a lot of troops in there. It's gonna let the planes repair for a little while. Now, it's the same auto save that we crashed last time, but not this time. And yeah, later in. Oh crap, they, they had something there, but it's just another headquarter going back and forth here. Let's have a look. Um, how's this battle going on? We are holding quite nicely, and they've... A lot of their divisions are now... going back already. Oh, not a lot of them. Most of them are still fighting, but there's some divisions that are pulling back because they're out of organization and all that. This might be a chance. I'm gonna leave one division here just in case it's a disaster. If we can push them out. Oh, hold on. Are they out of supplies? No, I think it's us that are out of supplies. Yeah, we have a bit of a lack of supplies here. Um, right. Have a look at here. This is the. Point. We are trying to build roads there. Oh, oh right, it's one of these, isn't it? That one. I'm just going to put that to the top, should it? just to get that built sooner rather than later. If we can take out this province, we might be able to then outflank them from the south, make a pocket here and destroy them. maybe a 10 Japanese divisions. Then we'll have another stand down somewhere around this river, probably. 
until the Japanese do a mistake. Our planes are a bit beaten up. And we got the tropical island garrisons now. Let's have a look at actually. Yeah. Probably has pretty decent rain bonuses and probably pretty decent defensiveness. 26. Doesn't have... Well, it has air defense of 14. Not much speed and attack values are terrible, but that's fine. Actually have a look. If we have a just empty division with the tropical and we can check the terrain bonuses. The attack values are terrible, but uh, more marsh defense bonus is 167 percent. River 180. The jungle 187 percent. Yeah, they could easily do a lot of defending. There's a river defense also. Yeah. Um, Honestly, I'm tempted to make those at some point, but right now we don't really have the need. Oh, they are pulling back more divisions. Let's uh, send in attacks from here. We've got quite a few divisions in there, but... They are fighting multiple battles. They've uh, basically left their trenches, and now they're fighting in a bit of the open... Well, as open as you can have in a jungle with a river. Who knows, we might actually be able to exploit the mistake that the enemy made here. Because for the longest time it's just... I didn't have enough troops to actually push across the river, considering how many troops they had there. But now, I might be able to. Okay, ooh, Japanese light tanks. Armor of 17, so that's basically nothing compared to what my troops can do. How's the battle going here? Oh, they brought in another headquarters there. Well, that's not going to be great. Not for them, at least. Oh, they are sending something over that way. Okay, we want the defense here. Uh, do we have... We got a lot of troops that we can send around. And three divisions there. And three divisions there. Oh, ooh. We know that they got a little bit of troops there, but we don't know much other than that. But they seem to be pulling back. Now, if we can take this and keep on pushing as much as possible, we'll need to keep some of our troops not attacking so they can then come forward once we take out a province. Keep the attack rolling. Now then, we can lower the upgrades once again. Maybe even the reinforcements a tiny bit. Tomorrow we'll be getting another mechanized division. We brought in a little bit of tro troops here, but not enough. We are basically pushing them back quite hard. That militia over there is not going to last for long. Well, excellent. This is actually something that I do want to get anyway. The Indochina. I think uh, ground crew training. So morale for fighters. Excellent. And now we got the... Make a nice division. Right, and we'll be getting some garrison units soon. I haven't actually figured out where to put them. I suppose I could put them either... Actually, if we set them in Tibet, they won't be able to move much, but they can certainly suppress the rebellions over there. And now we'll probably be starting work on the light infantry divisions. Oh! Won the battle there. How quickly do we get in there? Uh, it's going to be about a week. Okay. Right, so we are getting the garrisons now. Let's... Uh... Don't have a huge amount of troops around here that could be doing suppression. On the other hand, you know, oh, there's a bit of a gap here. Let's uh, at least put one there. Another core. Find this under the main. 
Uh, we don't actually need to have a leader on these divisions, or these garrisons. Because they won't be gaining any experience anyway. And that... Oh, right, well, I suppose we will need to send in one of these close air support back there. Keep on going. Okay, they are singing our convoys. One another battle against them in uh, Tibet. Also, mod, that's not great. Has the practical knowledge of construction increased yet? It's 3.0, so it has increased a little bit. Oh, hey, we got here finally. About time. Reinforcements are arriving. They're trying to attack quite a bit. I'll let them use their organization down. Then I'll do a counter-attack from these two, and I'll send in the bombers to do the bombardment. I think that's good enough. Leave a few of these out. And I'll leave one of these out. I'll take both of these to ground attack their defensive continues. Well, they shouldn't be too bad. Oh, they're still fighting with the militia as well. Oh, I think Tibet is gone. Well, soon. Right, and we got more garrisons here. So we'll, we'll just uh, pull them down somewhere around here. One around there. Take away the general, and then we got a little bit extra in reinforcements again. And we did get across the river. Time to send in more troops. We got the divisions over here. We're not going to send that one in, but. These will probably send down here. We'll try to outflank them here because if I remember correctly, there is going to be another uh, bottleneck around here. If we can cut them off, we can then destroy at least some of the divisions there. Major victory. The one there, we lost uh, zero units. Or oh, zero men, they lost 8,000. That's going to hurt. They didn't have enough uh, corpses of their own men protecting their approach. The production goes up. We do need to cancel the oil refining by the looks of it. And energy production. And we got the other two garrisons now. Not easy being that one general, he's being juggled around with the garrison divisions and immediately sacked. Right, how's this fight going? They got the headquarters there, but that shouldn't be much. Give a bit of a support attack from this side as well, that should give us an even higher bonus. But I don't think our infantry is going to do much damage, it's mostly the aircraft. Right, how's the battle in here? We do have troops that are ready to move. Send in five divisions this way. Move in another five around here. And we can kind of map where we can go and where we can't go. So the edge goes around here. Then is this... Okay, this is actually all reversible. There is no other bottleneck, but we might be able to at least expand the front a little bit here. And hopefully we can get as much as 
of the land as possible before they bring in a lot of troops. We got another oh steel production right. But we finally got something to going in here. This front has been static for about three years. And now there's something happening. It's pretty much like the First World War in that respect. Yeah, are we having to... No, it's them that are having the lack of supplies here. Mostly units that have just arrived from there. Okay, radios, advance, tank... Tank radio communication, that's gonna be useful. No longer using signal flags once we research that. Right, we have a bit extra in reinforcements again. Now let's send these two back into the Tibetan capital as well. Not doing all that much damage for them with the ground attack right now. Which is an issue. Right, so we captured this. It's a little bit troops there, but not too many. In another three divisions this way, and from here we'll send in four divisions going south. If we can get across that river as quickly as possible, that'd be nice. Then we can maybe capture a bit more here. Extreme terrain combat tactics advances, so that increases uh, mountain air morale, uh, special force morale, marine morale. Yeah, there's a lot of units that get bonuses from that. Mostly the special forces, though. By the pilot training, we won the battle there. They are retreating a lot of their troops there, so we do need to be quick. I mean, we could probably hold them off all over. Oh, I think we broke the marine there immediately, and now it's just fighting the... Oh, we'll see if we can repeat that. Now yeah, the marine broke. How many divisions? Oh, right, we got a lot of divisions here. Let's just keep on moving. The wave of Chinese is advancing. Oh, that division seems to have a dead wish. Or death wish, rather. Send in there. I that we can take them out. And in meanwhile, this battle... We are taking a little bit of losses, but not that much. It's just mostly a matter of time. They won't be able to regen their troops or anything that like that. We should be able to take them out without an issue. Having a bit of an issue with our supplies though. Let's freeze that a little bit, shall we? Seemingly having an issue, not necessarily actually. Problem, but we'll see. Yeah, oh, that division is actually capable of defending. Very well. We can drop you some presents from the sky. Oh, they have some planes over there. Let's actually send in our own planes to a bit of air superiority here. Something like that. Daily continues. Not contesting the skies with them. Yeah, there's the fighters. They are doing a lot of damage, but at the same time, at least our Air Force arrived to help a little bit. Oh, they sent in even more. Okay, that might be an issue. We do have more over here, so we can actually send in a little bit extra. And then we do have Air Force. We don't have any other fighters available right now. Not in this region. 
They are sending in a lot of troops, so we might not be able to advance too much right now. What we'll need to do is just take as much land as we can, then defend against a counter-attack. And then see what happens. If we can hold it, then... Yeah, we should be good. If we can't, then we are screwed. Or then we can potentially at least retreat back to the old line here. You can see that they have a lot of divisions here in the background, and there's a lot of troops coming in. That is a ton of troops. That's like uh, 12 or 15 divisions coming in. I'm a bit concerned about that. Fire transportation advance. And supply throughput. Ground attack tactics advance. Excellent. Okay, that colonial division is about to be done. We are having a bit of a problem with supplies here. Because we didn't focus on fixing the infrastructure here early enough. So meanwhile, we could try doing the landing in Taiwan. We can send in two divisions. Invasion. Move in the navy over there to give a bit of a support. Hold oil conversion, aviation air set radar. What are we? Hold your oil. Cancel that one. We've got quite a few research projects going on, so who? Yeah, probably better to not add too many new ones. There. At least we can do the invasion without any organization, so that's good. Now the question is, how quickly do we get in there? If we take that, can we then? actually be able to take out the island itself. I have about one core of infantry there, so it should be okay. I think do we have convoys under production. Not right now, but I think we might want to put in some. About 100 and then 40 escorts or something like that. They are still holding their... well, they are holding, rather, not us. Um, yeah, we are already taking that. We can move in there. They might be getting more reinforcements here rather soon. See if we can actually push them further. One of the divisions decided to retreat. Another one. Well, that was headquarters, but still. Some progress is being made. What about capital over here? They are losing. I mean, there's only the militia left. My over here is... <laughs> it's not going fast, but we will win that soon enough. Also, did we manage to do the landing already? Not yet, but about... There we go. Oh, they started attacking. We'll do a daily air supply there. Just to keep the troops fighting. It's only Garrison that is doing the attack with some headquarters, so... It shouldn't be too hard to defend. Yeah, we want that. They send in reinforcements from the south. But what we can do... We can cut these off. Bring in another set of units. Oh crap. Um, okay, that is a problem. Let's uh, fall back. 